everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and mom's on the show today, Ingrid. Hi. And this is what we say about food. Today I'm showing you something really cool that I picked up from Lakeland Meats in uh, St. Catharines. This is Crow Quail Farms Quail Eggs, okay? So it comes in a little pack of 18 and it's this double shelled container. So it kind of folds over and protects these little tiny cute things. Uh, there's still one in the pack as you can see. So that's how they come, okay? Just like that. They're so beautiful. They are. This comes from St. Anne's in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And where is that one you said? It's near Smithville. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at how adorable these guys are. They are so precious. They come, they range in color from a light, light cream all the way through a dark chocolate, even black looking pinto splotches mm -hmm. everywhere. I love they're these guys. adorable. Not only are they absolutely adorable, but they're tasty too. Mm -hmm. They're a tiny bit richer than a chicken egg. They are a tiny bit more nutritionally boosted up than a chicken egg, but it's like really minimal. The flavor is very close to a chicken egg. It just so happens that they're nice and small and dainty. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> so cute. But you'd have to eat a heck of a lot of quail eggs to, I even, know. to even measure it up compared to a chicken egg. But um, they're a really nice little addition to salads and little appetizer or derby things. Perfect for Easter. Mm -hmm. They're adorable. You could even use them on your table as a centerpiece. I think they're so pretty. I just love to have them for a centerpiece. I think so too. You could probably color them if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, make the uh, the creamy color would pick up different hues yeah, of I'd, coloring. I'd like to blow the centers out and just save and these save them for a centerpiece. Very, we should do a show like that. To show put people. epoxy on them or something to make them a little stronger and use bring them out every Easter. Like my emu egg. Yes, <laughs> from Australia. <laughs> I love these guys. Now today what we're using them in is we're using someone created a hamburger, a burger. I shouldn't say hamburger, a burger in my name. It's the Kimberly Turner. Okay. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and it's actually a bison burger. But, and inside of them, we're going to have a little hole that we cut out of the burger. And we're going to put three little quail eggs in each burger in the center and cook it like that. It's going to be so cool. So make sure you check out that recipe. But there's lots of different ways you could use this. This would be mm -hmm. nice in a nice little spinach salad. What else would you use them for, Mommy? Well, I think they would be adorable if you make deviled eggs. I well, think they'd be so cute for our dirt. So like it would would just be like a there. in the yeah. middle. <laughs> a little a tiny dot. Tiny tidbit. That's a really neat idea, Mom. Yeah. I think that would be adorable. I think we'll have to too. do things something like that. <laughs> wait for that recipe, I suppose. Yeah. Mmm. But I can't wait to use them. Me too. They're adorable. They're so cute, I can't get over it. I can't <laughs> stand it. They're so cute. They look like they should be candy. Yeah, like the mini eggs, exactly. And those are some of my favorite chocolates of the season. But I, I mean, this would be beautiful for Mother's Day, mm -hmm. for a bridal or a baby shower, yes. for a nice little Definitely. appetizer, a cocktail party. Mm -hmm. You could even put that in, in a cocktail. Yeah, you boil them yeah. and put that in a cocktail. That'd be a really neat yeah. way to do things. Right, especially for guys who like the, um, the pickled, uh, eggs. pickled eggs with mm -hmm. their beer or ale. Something like that. Yeah. That's but this would kind of be the female version. You could put it in a martini. Yeah. Just saying. Might have to wait for that recipe too. I know. We've been doing all kinds of recipes lately. All kinds of stuff, Mom. Yeah. We've been busy. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, you can find more information about these guys online at crowquail.com. It'll be at the bottom of your screen now. And I'm really excited to use these. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You, absolutely. You, you're you going to have to eat more than one. <laughs> I think so. I think. But I just want to look at them. So you could poach them just the same as sure. a regular egg. You could boil them. Um, we're going to put them like they're going to be fried today, but I'm sure that you could scramble them and do stuff like that. Sure. Deviled eggs. Whatever. Whatever's mm -hmm. clever. Yeah, if you have a child who is not fussy on eggs, this might uh, encourage them sure. to try Sure, just a bite-sized thing. Try eating eggs. I like it. And it's protein. Yeah. So, I hope that you check them out online at Crowquail Eggs. Sorry, crowquail.com. And I got these at Lakeland Meats in St. Catharines, which is an awesome place to go shop if you're a real booty. Mm -hmm. Boy, all kinds of meats and eggs and fish and exotic things. 
so exciting. I know. We're starting with a real good one today. I can't wait to go back there. <laughs> Anyhow, that's where I got them from, okay? So that's what we say about crow quail farms, quail eggs. You're you gonna really, like them too. You really should get some because they're just too cute for words. Absolutely. So excited. All right, that's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye bye.